Hello and welcome to this series of Joomla Getting Started videos. Today we're going to be reviewing how you can view and run a test registration. So at this point you've already created a season and within that season you've created your first program. Uh, so at this point it's a uh, best practice to go through a test registration and this way you can actually see what a front user or your registrants users will see when they're going through a registration. So uh, the first thing you will do is, again, go to your uh, season, find the program that you want to test, and you'll go under the Actions tab and click View. As soon as you click View, a new page will open up, which is the registration page for that particular program that you have created. So you'll notice that this page basically has a summary of all the information that you created when you were doing your setup wizard for this particular class. So you have the name of the program, you have the price, the day that they meet. And if you scroll down, you'll see other information such as the class date, description, and so forth. Um, one thing to take in mind at this point is here at the top, you'll see the URL, which is composed of your organization name, .joomla.com, then the name of the season, and the name of the class. What you'll want to do at this point is copy this and either open it in a new browser or you can also use an incognito window. And the reason is that because you're logged in as an administrator, if you try to log in at this point, it'll let you know that you're logged in as an administrator. So I have now uh, copied and pasted the URL in a new browser and we're ready to go through a test registration. So I'm just basically gonna take you through the steps so you can uh, replicate this on your end. So the first thing will be uh, clicking here on the express register button. And at this point, you do want to create a new account or a dummy account that you'll use as a family to be able to run this uh, transaction. Uh, if you click here on new family, you'll be able to create an email and generate your password. And this will be your login credentials. And eventually, when you're logging back in, you'll be able to do it here as already a member. Use that same email. And so go ahead and use my existing uh, family demo account. Then you click on login. So at this point, you're now inside of the actual registration. You'll see that my email is shown up here on the top and the card at the moment is, is at zero. So you'll select the, the price. If you have any add-ons, you can add them at this point by clicking add. Then you'll click continue. And at this point, you're gonna select which participant you're registering. If this is the first time you're doing this, then you'll probably have this, uh, they will be blank at the beginning. So at this point, you will click on Add a New Participant. In my case, uh, I do have some existing profiles. Uh, so let's say we're registering David Smith for this class. This will now take us directly to the online registration form. So based on the online form that you've uh, attached to this particular program, that's what your parents or, or registrants would see when they're registering. You just go ahead and complete this form. If there are any particular fields that are required that are not filled out during the process, then the system won't let you continue. Uh, so again, all of those with the red star are required before you go into the next step, which would be your waivers. On the waivers, you'll um, be able to have more than one. I'll go ahead and click on the agree. And in, in this case, again, this is also mandatory. So if I would not click on this, I wouldn't be able to go to the last step, which is now the checkout screen. So I click continue. And at this point, we are at the final step, which is the checkout. You'll notice that because we do have the season in the test mode, you have this uh, watermark which says test mode. And again, the, the idea here is that you can run these tests and everything that's collected at this point as a test will be kept in the background. Once you're ready to go, then you can switch it to a live season. So now you're uh, all good to go and you can uh, finalize the checkout and submit your order. As you'll remember, on our uh, payment method settings, we activated the credit card PayPal option, and we also activated the cash or check. Uh, we will have a link on, on the article where you can see our dummy credit card and PayPal accounts if you want to test credit card or PayPal. In this case, I'll just do the cash or check, and you'll see the note that we added. Now I just click on place order. It'll let you know again that we're doing this as a test. And finally, we click OK and the transaction will get processed. Um, as soon as we get the confirmation screen, now there's uh, two emails again that are going out. One is going out to the family uh, email, which is uh, the one that I used as a dummy account. 
and the other one will go out to the email that's associated with your test account. Um, at this point, you've completed the test registration, and on our next video, we're going to show you how you can find and view this order. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.